Welcome back, welcome back. Kim Paul Williams is in the studio, and she's here to talk about the Arkansas Single Parent Scholarship Fund. Welcome to the show. Welcome. Thank you for having me. Now, what organization is are you with? Is that the organization? Yes, I'm okay. with Arkansas Single Parent Scholarship Fund. Okay. I was a former recipient while I went to okay. school. Okay. And uh, so I'm excited to be on this side helping other single parents, male and female, be able to go to school. And tell us, tell us about the, the scholarship fund or about the Arkansas organization. Okay. We started in the mid-80s in Washington and Benton counties. Now we have single parent scholarship funds in all 75 counties in Arkansas. Wow. Um, we're kind of in a revamp ASPSF 2.0 is what we call it. Um, the last few years, we did a lot of studies and found out that we're only serving about 10% of the single parents. Oh, so wow. we've got oh, a, okay. a push out to attract more students, volunteers, and of course donors. Um, we get grant funding from Tyson, Walmart, Intergy, United Way, all those places. But we're also doing local fundraising, which is what I'm here mm -hmm. to talk largely okay. about. Oh, okay. okay. Um, across the state, we give about $1.5 million in scholarships each year. But right here in Boone County, um, in 2017, we gave 50 scholarships, totaling a little over $25,000. Oh, that's good. So, yeah, yeah that's and this a lot is of money. for furthering their education. Yes, yes. Locally or anywhere? Or? They, any accredited okay. university they can okay. attend. We also do <laughs> truck driving programs, cosmetology certificate programs. So we're not limited to colleges and universities. Okay. So it, what are yeah. the well? What are the requirements? Yeah. Not just to be a single parent. To be or? a single parent with at least half time custody of their child, they have to be the only parent in the home. If they're cohabitating with baby oh, daddy yeah. or not, mm -hmm. um, they don't fit under our definition of single parent. And then they have to be in 250 percent of the federal poverty guidelines, okay. and enrolled. And it could be male, female, whichever. Yes. I mean, yes. Okay. We don't get a lot of male students. We'd like to increase that number, um, Wouldn't that be but great? we do help when they apply and meet our criteria. Okay. All right. And then, how does someone? How do they apply? How do? They can go online to aspsf.org, select the county they live in, and then there's the application process and all the instructions on there. Or there's volunteers in each county that they can contact. Sherry Connor and I are the main contacts here in Boone County. Mm -hmm. She's with adult education at the college. Okay. Do you have to be a student to, to receive this money? Yes. You, you do have, have to be, be a student. Yes. Okay. Yes. So that's that's part of the criteria. Right. Do you have to? Is there? Does it go a little further than that? Do you have to be a full time student or part time? Or do you no, have to we be? prorate the awards based on how many hours okay. they're enrolled. And we're kind of unique. We don't we award directly to the student, and we don't tell them how to spend it. Um, when I was going to school as a single parent. One year, I used it to buy tires for my car, um, catch up utilities. You know, single parents sure, have yeah. a lot of unique things that come up, and they're mm -hmm. taking care of their kids as well as trying to get their education. Yeah, it's those those little side uh, funds or projects that that are overlooked. Right. And if you can't, if you don't have tires on your vehicle, then you can't get from exactly. A to B. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Can't get to your classes, and then yeah. you have to drop. So um, we provide the supplemental scholarship to help them be able to mm -hmm. stay in school and our statistics show that 85 percent of our students are able to stay in school because of the help we get that's good now you have an event you want to talk no, about we do. Well, how, how can the community help awesome um we are having a diamonds on the diamond ragball tournament next saturday september 1st um and we're tying this in with the diamond ring raffle one of our volunteers donated this gorgeous diamond ring it's a half carat center cluster set in an 18 carat white gold filigree band. Wow. Hand designed by Donna Day Jim. And um, she donated it to raffle to raise money to fund our fall scholarships. Oh, nice. How nice. Yeah. Nice. Is, so, there, is there a place we can see that? Um, yes, it's on our Facebook page. Okay. Um, the Facebook page for the event, North Arkansas Benefit Events, which Brad actually, I don't know if you know him, he's putting together the ragball tournament for us. So he's got the ring on there and details about the tournament. Okay. Um, and you can buy tickets at Cornerstone Bank, The Cake Shop, Jerry Jackson Realty, and Edwards Grocery. Okay. And then any of our volunteers will have raffle tickets as well. Should I go through the list of our volunteers? So, well, I mean, if someone, they won't know if, the, if someone. If I don't say, up, right. Don't say, mm -hmm. So, so yeah. we've got uh, Brenda Steele, Sherry Connor, Terry Garrett, Jennifer Scott, Angela Oliven, June Snow, and of course myself. If you see any of those people out and about, you yeah. get a ticket. Get a right. ticket. 
And this event is next Saturday. Next Saturday, really September soon. 1st. Okay. September 1st. So we're still accepting registrations for it. We were going to have it this Saturday, so we've had to do a quick date change. Um, there was a competing tournament. Oh, took okay. all our teams, so we had ah. to kind of push right. back a week. Do you have several teams already lined up? We think we have about seven so far. We're hoping for about 12. Okay. okay. So, so it'll be where, will the, where will the tournament take place? It is at the A.L. Carter Field in Berryville. They donate their fields, and okay. we get officials time donated and everything so nice more profit goes to fund the scholarships than paying for the cost all right so they can call you direct uh, with the information that was on the screen if yes if, about any of the stuff we talked about on absolutely this interview here. okay right. and if you're looking to just not necessarily even this I mean along with that or in addition to you'd take money Oh, yeah. We'll yeah. take yeah. donations any donations. anytime. <laughs> uh, you can mail it to our P.O. Box 3055 in Harrison or donate online at ASPSF.org and ASPSF. specify the county okay. that you want the funds to go to. Right now, Boone County is is my greatest county in needing the funds. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Yeah. Wow. Kim, thanks so much for being here. Thank you Good for having me. Good luck for your events. That's next Saturday at uh, what time? Starts at 9 a.m. And that's all open day. Berryville. Right, and we'll, well have the okay, ring raffle. Okay, let me ask this too. Do they need to pre does a team need to pre-register or just Yeah, show they need to pre-register probably by Thursday. Okay, so go to that website. Okay. And, um, go Facebook to, page? yeah, the Facebook page okay. for North Arkansas Benefit Events. Okay. Or call me. I'll get okay. you in touch with the right person. All right. There's the number on the screen. Thanks, Kim. Thank you. Appreciate Thanks it. Much. Thanks. Up next, Shannon Willis is here. He's going to be talking about a event down there in Jasper, Buffalo River Blue Bluegrass Festival, and we'll find out all about, about, about that in uh, just a few minutes. Stay with us.